The mystery surrounding the disappearance of an 18-year-old girl from Duncan is deepening. It's been five days now since Taisha Jones was last seen or heard from, and the case is leaving even veteran investigators baffled. Today, police expanded their search, taking to the skies over the Cowichan Valley in the hope of discovering something new, any lead that could help them find Taisha. A News mid Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has the story. RCMP tactical members from all over Vancouver Island were tasked to Duncan today, canvassing the neighborhood where a teenage girl has been missing for five days now. We have approximately 40 police officers uh, both investigating and on the ground, uh, searching and canvassing uh, neighborhoods, etc. We're throwing everything we have at this to, in an attempt to determine where Taish is. 18-year-old Taisha Jones was last heard from 3 a.m. Saturday. After leaving a gathering on Miller Road, she was on her way to meet a friend at the Duncan Superstore. Her cell phone was found abandoned. She's the type of girl that she would answer her cell phone at the drop of a hat, even at 4 o'clock in the morning. She would answer her cell phone if her mother was calling her. A helicopter circled overhead, scanning the woods and river, while search and rescue volunteers on call yesterday continued their ground search today. 34 volunteers from all over the South Island. So it's huge. I mean, even getting even getting uh, 34 people out is, is it's huge. These people are, are are really committed, and I'm hugely grateful to them. Yesterday, a property on Miller Road was the scene of a heavy police presence. Police say nothing was found of significance here, but the area remains cordoned off. The investigators don't want to leave any rock unturned. Uh, they want to ensure that they've done everything, uh, you know, as far as the examination of the scene, that they have examined it uh, thoroughly and that there isn't anything there. The community came together for a prayer meeting today to pray for Taisha's safe return and to support her family. We've had prayers from our spiritual leaders and today again it's an opportunity to come together in, the, in, in prayer and, and put that positive energy out in the hopes and prayers that Taisha is safe and she's going to find her way home to her family and her community. Taisha's family is still desperately holding out hope she'll return safely despite the fact that every hour that passes makes that less likely. It's getting harder and keeping it together is pretty hard sometimes. I just want my daughter home and I know she's out there somewhere. I just want her home. Police are asking if you have any information about the disappearance of Taisha Jones, call the North Couch and Duncan RCMP at 250-748-5522. Jonathan Bartlett joins us now in our mid Island Bureau with the latest. Jonathan, the Miller Road property uh, seems to have been uh, or was the focus yesterday. Uh, have you got any indication why that is? Well, it was something on the property, Hudson. Police are not giving any details, but search and rescue volunteers stumbled across something, perhaps an area of disturbed earth. Police won't confirm that, but that area today was the focus of police and ground search volunteers again. Police are following up on many tips from the public, aware, however, that speculation and rumor is rampant. Uh, police say this is still an active missing person investigation. So after another day of searching, what happens next? Well, I just spoke to Corporal Kevin Day with the North Couch and Duncan RCMP about 30 minutes ago. He says they've shut down the ground search and tactical, and the, and the tactical members have finished their inquiries for the day. There is a briefing tonight which will determine what kind of resources they'll throw into the search tomorrow. But from the sounds of it, Hudson, there is still no sign of what may have happened to Taisha Jones. All right, we'll stay on the story. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you.